I'm Hal Humphreys and this is your weekly briefing from PI Education and Pursuit Magazine. Last week, the PI community lost a giant, uh, Jack Palladino, uh, famous, some would say notorious investigator out in the San Francisco Bay Area, was brutally attacked and passed away after the attack. Um, Jack Palladino was not an investigator who um, invoked feelings of neutrality. Uh, he did things in a way that some people are uncomfortable with. But at the end of the day, Jack Palladino's obsessions with cases, those are the things that made him a successful private investigator, um, among other things. But his obsessions with getting to an answer, uh, sometimes with dubious uh, tactics, uh, are, those are the things that made him kind of who he is. You know, we all deal with obsessions, I think. Um, some of those obsessions are small. Some of those obsessions are crazy, overwhelming obsessions. Uh, my obsessions are on the smaller side. Um, I do a thing where I count to nine for pretty much everything. Uh, if I'm brushing my teeth, I count to nine. If I'm putting on deodorant, I count to nine. When I'm taking any yoga practice, I take nine breaths per pose. I don't know why the number nine has settled on me, but it has, and it's become a little bit of an obsession. I also have this weird thing. We have a space heater in our bedroom that is um, it's one of those fake fireplaces, so you turn it on and it blows a little heat, but it also has a fake fire going. The way it's wired, if you turn it on, sometimes the fire sucks down into the logs, and my obsession is I can't stand it when the flame is sucking down in the logs. It's just wrong. So I have to flip the switch a number of times until the flame goes the right direction. Those are small obsessions. As private investigators, sometimes we get obsessed with a case. We get a case that kind of gets under our skin, right? And we become obsessed with that case. There are times when that is crazy useful as an investigator to get stuck into a case so hard and become so obsessed with it that you've got to find out what happened. You've got to find out as much about the facts as you possibly can so that you can help your client get a good result. And that's a great way to use obsessions. The problem is obsessions can lead to really good results for cases, but they can also lead to really bad results for your life. If you become obsessed with a thing um, and that's all you can think about and you can't live a life, then you're out of balance. So we're talking this month at PI Education and Pursuit Magazine about obsessions and how we can channel our obsessions into useful focus, things that we can uh, use to make better results for our clients. Um, I find that when I get stuck into a case and I'm really excited about it and I get a little bit obsessed, I do a better job of digging. I do a better job of getting off my ass and knocking on doors. And those are the things that make for a good, solid investigation. I also find that when I get too deep into a case, it can impact the rest of my life. So how do we, how do we balance those things? How do we balance the obsession with the need to live a life, to have um, time with your family, time with your friends, time to let go of things and vent a little bit. How do we balance those things? Do you have a case that has gotten under your skin? Do you have an obsession that you'd like to tell us about? Maybe it's a story that caused you trouble over the years, or maybe it's a story that resulted in a really good outcome for your client. If you have a case or an obsession that you've, you've kind of uh, gotten caught up in. I'd love it if you'd share that with us. You can send that to Kim at storyboardemp.com uh, and we'll get it into Pursuit Magazine. Next month, we're going to be hosting another version of the live virtual classroom version of the Criminal Defense course. I'll be teaching that. I think it's the second and third of March. Uh, if you can join us for that, we'd love to have you. In the meantime, if you need to get some continuing education, Hop on over to PIEducation.com, find a course that looks interesting to you, log in and take it. I think you'll have a good time with it. I'm Hal Humphreys, and this is your weekly briefing from PI Education and Pursuit Magazine.